Let me take you back about 45 years. I was working at a radio station in Langley as the general sales manager. I thought I was doing a pretty good job, but I had philosophical differences with the owner and he fired me. And that's his privilege. It was his station. He could hire and fire whoever he wanted. It was 45 minutes to drive home. And so in that 45 minutes, I drove very slowly because I was going to go home and tell my wife I'd just been fired. I took as much time as I could. I walked in the back door and my wife said, everything okay, sweetie pie? I said, well, it's been a different day. I said, let me get changed and let's have a glass of wine and I'll tell you what's happened. So we sat down with a glass of wine. I choked back for a minute and I said, I got fired today. Dead silence. She said, that's good. You shouldn't be working for somebody else anyway. You're too good a salesman. You're too good a marketing guy. You got too much energy. You got too many ideas. You should have your own business. So tomorrow morning, get up and go find your own business that you can devote on. There was a man in Vancouver called Al Davidson, great sportscaster. He had a magazine called Al Davidson's This Week and it went broke basically the same day I got fired. I had coffee with him. I said, Al, I'd like to buy your publication. I bought it. The next week I turned it around and I called it TV Week Magazine. That was 45 years ago. TV Week Magazine, we still publish, is still the number one magazine in our stable of 27 magazines. And here we are today because I got fired because I was encouraged by my wife. We are considered the number one privately owned magazine publisher and business in British Columbia. So encourage people, uplift them, tell them they can do a lot better than they think they can, just like my wife did some 45 years ago. Make it a great day.